Okay, so here's the plan. Heading over the course for some pre-ride. A single speed tomorrow. Yeah, I need to pick a gear. Uh, so I'm gonna ride around the course with my geared bike. And I've got a 36 chain ring on, so I'm probably gonna try to keep that on. So I'm probably gonna run like a 20, 21 or a something like, I don't know. I've never done this before. Course is open from 9.30 to 11.30. Dang, look at this thing sparkle. This one's a 21 and this one's an 18. So that's what I'm testing out here today. Two laps. In the 3621, I don't think I have a 21. So I think I gotta go either 22 or 20. 19, 20, 22. Do they even make a 21? Is that even a thing? 36, 22 or 36, 20? I think I'm gonna put the 20 on. Go do one more lap and see how that goes. So I gotta swap a free home. Jeez, look at this. Dang, gross. So they just turn. So I've got a micro spline on this Hydra, i9 Hydra hub. You gotta swap it out for the standard hyper glide because that's I think really hard. I don't know the I one two. That A line. Uh, uh well so I've been going into like thirty-six. That's a twenty. But I could easily put a twenty-two on. Let's go hard and see how this goes. Okay, that was a 19 minute lap. I think the 20 is kind of heavy. Shoot, it's really tough because there's this lower loop where it's great. But then as soon as you cross next to the finish line and start heading up the mountain, it's like pretty friggin' heavy. So I gotta do some thinking. I'm here for a number. You're here for a number. Two, two if I can get them. Great, you're on your bike around in circles? Can I help yeah. somebody? That was like really moist these days in the humidity. I did not know you were a junior. Really? Yeah. I know that. I always get in trouble because with bike reg, I reg register with junior and then it throws all my UCI points off. Is there a sheet for that? Or is that there not? will be once okay. Reg closes. Um, let's see. Do you need... Pit pass? Yes. Yes, please. Okay, I got my number. I got my laps in. I think I decided that the 20 is too steep and I'm going to run the 22 tomorrow. So that means I got to switch a cog, clean a bike. What's up? What do you think about the course? I like it. I think the changes are awesome. You don't miss the rock garden? No. Why not? Because you still get most of it. The one from top to bottom from last year? Yeah, half of it's cut out, but... Alright, to each his own. Yeah. Are you racing Are you racing tomorrow? No. Friday? No. Nope. At all? No. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Wisconsin. Yeah, you're fine. You, you sound like Brian Motter. <laughs> I couldn't post that, they'd be mad at me. I'll do the burnout though, I just... I don't do burnouts in the van. For now, I gotta go back to work. Technically, I'm on the clock. But I talked to a bunch of bear athletes and uh, one or two other sponsored riders, so I mean, technically, this is working. Like, I'm working on real life sponsorship relations. Like, right, like this, this is perfect. Yeah, nice job, dude! Woo! Woo! Looking good! See that? Working. Life happened yesterday and I didn't get to doing the stuff to my bike, so now I've got to do it this morning on race morning, which I really dislike. Let's take Shermie out first. 
Jimmy, come on. Do you guys think he's like getting a little pudgier? I feel like when he comes to PA, it's like get fat camp. My dad is the bacon man. My grandmom is the cheese lady. When we got here on Tuesday, we were at my grandmom's for 20 minutes and he got three pieces of cheese. Yesterday, I'm pretty sure he pooped out a craft single. But he's living his best life. All right, back to business. This shouldn't take long. All I gotta do is swap a cog, give this thing a wipe down. <sighs> so I just gotta remember not to shift because if I shift, pretty much perfectly lined up right now. I think I can get one shift in either direction and it'll still stay on, but if I go two, we could be in trouble. Oh my God, delete it. Delete it. <laughs> <laughs> like freshen up for your followers. You know, all the 16 year old men and the 12 year old boys. The peanut gallery. Exactly, <laughs> hi. Hi. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be yelling at me today. Her and my mom and Sherm. You just got hard launched. That was a hard launch. But I need to approve it. What do you mean? You can't approve. This is this is IRL. Like it's just it is what it is. I'm not wearing a bra. Should I keep that in? <laughs> Sherm's afraid I'm gonna leave him. I gotta hurry up here. I still haven't had breakfast. Sucker. Yeah, get us in for free, Sherms. No problem. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, That's just ten dollars for parking. Do racers pay as well? Yes. Okay. Fuck is this bullshit. Racers pay. I just paid four hundred dollars to race this weekend. Big dumbass move on my part. I made all my bottles last night and then forgot them in the refrigerator this morning. So luckily, Matt Shriver hooked me up with some uh, Scratch Super Fuel. I know I'm a flow sponsored athlete. I feel like it's good to know the competition, you know? How can you really say that Flow Formulas is the best if you don't try competition? Hey, what's up? Pretty good? Plus this might bite me in the ass. What's that? You're racing single speed? I am. Are you? Are you? Sick. I've never used scratch before, so, you know, on race day, this might bite me in the ass. Stop. Thanks, Trek Factory <laughs> Racing. You're welcome. Dude, you saved my day. Anything Thanks. for you, Carrie. Matt Shriver's been babysitting me since, uh, back in since 2010. Early, 10, yeah. early 2000s. 2010. Busted you guys with a bunch of beer. <laughs> I just told that story. <laughs> Yeah, where I came in looking for coffee filters. Yeah. All the beer bottles just came pouring out. <laughs> like, at least it was the last day of the trip. Yeah. So, the look on you guys' face, too, is like <laughs> obvious something was up. I walked in, and you guys were like, oh. As soon as he went for that cupboard, we were just like, oh no. <laughs> shit. And then here comes all the beer shit. Uh, Classic. Cool. Good to see you. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks.
And your winner of the Single Speed Open Man, Red for Black Magic Paint, with a time of 1 hour and 11 minutes, 22 seconds. Give it up to Kerry Werner Jr., your national champ. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your top five riders in the Single Speed Open Man National Championship. Okay, are we closing the door? Locking it? Yeah, don't lock it yet, though. Natty Champs. Boom, boom, boom. Jeremy's here, Lily's here. I remembered water bottles because Lily put them in here. Like three hours before race time. I think we're ready. Yeah. Hey. Hey, followers. <laughs> like and subscribe. Swipe up to see the link in the bio. Presented by Kato, Sid Wallace, Terry Werner Jr. for Heart Cycling. Elsa. Roger, you have two minutes after the stop. Two minutes. Woo! Woo! Unfortunately, nationals ended on a negative note for me. And then that poked a hole in my rim tape, so wasn't a whole lot I could do out there. I think I was sitting in sixth or seventh with Carson and Jerry coming in uh, three laps to go. I was for sure gonna put the wood to them, like, Carson was definitely gonna finish behind me. But he lives to tell the tale. Next year, Roanoke, and yeah, this is the worst part. Like not only did I flatten not finish, but now I have no UCI points. So now I gotta figure something out because next year, you know, hometown Roanoke Nationals, even though there were only 20 people starting this year, it'd be nice to not start in the back. So that's a that's a problem for another day. Probably the next race is cross season. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> we were so disappointed for you. And what did you, you want to say? say? What did you want to say about yesterday, man? Oh, oh good job. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. All right, what were you going to